Science is a gift to mankind. Space, a magnificent play. India takes pride in its very efficient space research organization, ISRO, which of course needs no introduction. We at Countryside are more than thrilled to introduce our very young budding scientist, Ms. Drumi Panchal, who is a grade 10 student at Countryside. She has been a part of a two-week residential program, UVCA, conducted by ISRO. Come, let's have a word with Drumi. So, Drumi, would you like to tell us something about UVCA? What did you learn there? So, yes, Indian Space Research Organization has organized a special program named UVCA, Young Scientist Program, Yuva Vignanic Karikram, to impart the basic knowledge of space science and technology to the students who are the building blocks of our future. Yeah. UVCA 2023 successfully got concluded on 26 May 2023 in which students all over India were participated in it. Uh, they were appointed different ISRO centers as well. Right. So Dhrumi, tell us how was your overall experience with ISRO? Uh, whom all did you meet there? What all activities were conducted? Uh, would you like to share something about it? Yes. So during the two-week residential program, we were exposed to space science and technology by hands-on activities such as rocket launching, rocket modeling, sky gazing, coding, decoding, drone experiments, cancer experiments, and many more. Ex other than that, extra co-curricular activities like yoga, meditation, and site visits were also included in our two-week residential program. All right, and uh, somebody you met, some extraordinary personalities? Yeah, so during this residential program, I also met Rakesh Sharma, the first Indian astronaut to go in the space. I was very grateful to meet and have an interaction with him. Other than that, I met Nilesh Desai sir, Director of Space Application Center, S. Somnath sir, Director of ISRO, and Meenal Sampath ma'am, who had a great contribution in optical fibers and optical lenses in Gaganyaan mission. So, Drumi, uh, share with us what are your future plans? Like, yeah, since childhood, I was very fascinated by gazing the stars. Like, as I grew up, I got to know about different fields related to space science and technology. And now I, I have done a two week residential program named UVCA. So, it had given me a great exposure to space science and technology and a spark that I will be a space scientist in future. It would be my dream and uh, to serve the uh, nation as the space scientist. I would like to tell the viewers that uh, I have been personally uh, fortunate to be able to mentor Drumi in grade 7 in the subject science and uh, come let us get to know about how her academic journey has been with Countryside. Would you like to tell something about how uh, things are here at Countryside and how it has shaped you as a person? So I am in Countryside since 4 years and I personally have been interested in maths and physics since childhood. So the teachers of countryside also helped me to go out of the textbook in maths and physics so I can achieve the programs like Yubeka. Especially the Astro Club we have in uh, countryside helped me a lot to learn about space and technology and the telescope we have in countryside. I also observe many conjunctions of stars in that telescope and overall I can say that my parents Dr. and Dr. Sanjay Mehta and all my teachers helped me a lot to go up and never get down. So, Dhrumi, would you like to say something about Anvika that you were talking uh, previously? You would like to share something about it so that viewers also get to know what it is. Anvika is a program organized by IIST, Indian Institute of Space and Technology. Anvika specifically means Antriksh Vignanik Karyashala, in which it is a six days residential program in which the students who are selected in National Olympiads and Ubika 2023 are going to be given training about space science and technology. This program is all about the lectures given by eminent scientists of uh, Anvika and a training program in which we will, will be also given lab visits. So before we conclude, uh, let me ask Drumi that there will be many young scholars and parents who would want to know that how they can also participate in programs like Uvika and Anvika. Would you guide us all as to how you know students and your juniors can also um, be a part of all such amazing programs. Yeah, so space is a very wide field. It cannot be just up to the books. So I would like to tell that keep on visiting the sites such as ISRO to know what is happening all around us. ISRO also has a website in which the news updated are also given. 
and i would like to tell this please register in exams such as uvika and anvika so you can also be part of such wonderful programs every year and try to give as many olympiads as you can so you will get a big exposure and the students who are interested in space science and technology can also give exams such as naso which is conducted by a particular uh, organization and uvika and anvika so they can also get exposed to space science and technology and do a process of star gazing every night so you will get to observe many stars and many events which are taking place every day uh, that was very insightful drumi i hope that this brief interview was uh, engaging as well as informational uh, till we meet next time have a good day